Hi guys, um, I'm going to try and do a really short video on how to uh, import an image into Illustrator so then you can take the outline so then we can laser engrave or cut around that shape. So I've just gone uh, open up Illustrator, create new document. Um, I'm just going to use my 200 by 200 mil template that I've already got and then go create. And the first thing that I need to do is draw what's the actual size of the acrylic for my piece. So I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm just going to click once. So then I get this little window up and I can set the width and the height. So because my chess pieces for this game um, are going to be less, need to be less than 25 mil, my piece of acrylic that's going to sit in the base um, is going to be 24 width. And then I'm going to do a height of 30 mil just to see what that looks like, but I can change it later after I put the image in. So I'm going to go OK. That's going to put that there for me. And then I can click on my select tool to move that around. And before I forget, I'll change the stroke color. Double click on that and make that red because I want the laser cutter to cut around that piece of acrylic. So 0 0.01 mm, press enter. And then I'm gonna have a really faint red border around that. So now what I can do is place an image. So I've already saved an image off the internet and um, outlines or putting the word silhouette and then what you're trying to find works really well. So I found a, uh, a silhouette of a dinosaur, which I'm going to put on this piece. So we're going to go File, Place, uh, find the image that you saved, and just click anywhere, because depending on the image, it might be really big or really small. So now from here, um, with the image selected, um, there's a uh, option on the right hand side which is called image trace so I'm going to click on image trace and then select what it is but it could be one of many things um, silhouette will probably work the best with this or a black and white logo might work um, but it depends on the image that you found and which option you choose you can change it later depending what it looks like so if I go to silhouette it changes the image slightly um, but not enough for me to worry about it. If you guys clicked on like one of these options and it changes it completely, you can go to the tab up the top, image trace, and have a play around with the threshold. So if I made this less or more, it either gets rid of more of the outline or adds a bit more of the outline like that. Um, but it depends on the image that you've gotten, um, which and you, know, you can play around with that. Um, you can change it to something else. So maybe black and white logo works better for your image or sketch art, line art, technical drawing. Um, try any of these and then you know, see what happens when you play around with the um, threshold bar. But try and get something that looks relatively similar to what you would like. Then go back to properties and then just make sure you click on expand, which is down the bottom. So if I click on that, it'll then create an outline of my silhouette. Uh, and it'll also put a line on the outside of this box. So what I want to do is uh, use a different tool. So the direct select tool, which is this one. And just to make sure that there's no line around there, I'm just going to click there and go delete and delete again just to get rid of that outline you might not have an outline there you might just get rid of it if there is so now if i click and drag my dinosaur shape um, i'm going to change a couple of things i just want the outline i don't want the fill in there so i can turn the fill off by setting it to none and then i need to make a black outline around the dinosaur shape and I'm going to have quite a, a thick line just to make that really obvious 
And then obviously I want to make this the same size as my acrylic. So if I go back to my select tool, not the direct select tool, then I can click and drag and make that roughly the size that I would like. And then if I put that into place, and then I might want to change the thickness of that line. It's quite something like that. Um, maybe I do decide that I want to keep the fill on. I can just turn that back on and have that as my little character. Um, if you've made uh, like a little base, 3D printed base, and then this is what's going to be sitting in that piece, make sure that you leave a little bit of space down the bottom so then uh, you can actually see all of the character that's going to be engraved on there. Uh, if you wanted to do something a little bit different where the laser cutter cuts a little bit of the line, then you could take your uh, image, so I'm going to make a new one over there, and then you can basically draw your own outline uh, around it. So you can use like the curve tool or the pen tool, and um, that just works by clicking and then uh, every time you click with the keyboard, it'll create a line. In a second, I'll just turn off the fill. I'll get that back to the beginning. Uh, and then I can just turn fill off. And then obviously the stroke will need to be red and 0 0.01. Uh, to get that. So, you know, if you didn't want uh, just a rectangle shape for those pieces, you could do something a bit more custom. Um, you can, you know, probably draw a bit closer to the character uh, to get it a bit better, but then just make sure that you leave a bit of space again down the bottom. So then when it sits in the little base that you've made, then uh, you've got enough room for it to sit in there. That's it.